Hello guys, gals, and non-binary pals. So, this is my first video in a while, and if I'm being honest, I, I don't really have an excuse. I have like three or four pre-recorded speed paints that I just haven't edited or posted or just touched at all. Um, yeah, I'm lazy. Anyway, I am here with a new speed paint, and like I, I'm really proud of how this one turned out, so make sure you watch till the end. Um, I, I don't know if you follow my Instagram or not, you totally should though because I'm way more active there. Uh, but my art style has changed. Drastically. But, that's not what I wanted to talk about here. I've decided that I would like to start having narrated videos for various reasons, but I currently can't think of anything to talk about, so instead I'm going to read you a short story I wrote. This is She Who Watches. Sometimes it was dark. It never lasted long, but the period of time of inky, swirling darkness was enough to make her feel like she was drowning, choking on nothing as she sunk deeper and deeper into the abyss, clinging onto the remaining sheds of memories long past. But then, a beam of light would pierce the dark and warm her cold body, and then another, and another until the darkness was but a mere shadow working in the corners. And when that happened, she would lie down onto her back and watch through the lens as the world moved on in front of her. The window in her sky that let her pretend, if only for a moment, that she too was a part of their world. The quiet bustling of the city as it awoke, the gentle patter of the rain making its way to the ground. She loved these special moments, the time of day before people awoke. But like all good things, it eventually came to an end, and whoever it was that she watched with got on with their morning. Far too soon there were other people around. Teenagers standing in crowded hallways, some aloof and terribly apathetic, others trying to sneakily whisper to one another. The sound was muted for her, like she was behind a glass wall. She supposed that she was, really. The ever-present feeling of eyes crept up on her, and she knew instinctually that whatever it was be being shared with, with her charged. The urge to run and hide far away crawled over her skin, but she swallowed it down. She had done this before. She knew that much. And so, she wrapped herself in memories long gone, in jokes shared to herself, and relearned how to ignore. She smiled despite knowing she had no reason to smile in the current circumstances, despite knowing that others would think her insane. She didn't care. Like a field of warmth and all things good had wrapped itself around her, she strode forward into the day, not seeing the eyes that followed her following her steps, not hearing the muted laughter and whispers and comments thrown in her direction. The watcher had become the watched, but it would be many years in the future before she realised that she wasn't delirious. She was really free of the darkness. She would never know until she once more died, but she didn't take over from a willing soul. The swap was never meant to be, it was never supposed to have happened, but it was only as she died and saw face to face the girl whose body she had been living in that she understood take from others was to condemn her for the rest of eternity. As she sank into the abyss one final time, all she could do was stare at who, at who she who was watched and apologise endlessly. It was unclear what she was apologising for, but the stream of I'm sorry kept going until at long last she was submerged into the void. Until at long last she was silenced, until, at long last, she could no longer watch. And that's that's the story, guys. I don't know if that was spooky. It's just something I kind of came up with. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to stop talking now. Hopefully, if you guys like this, I will keep doing this because frankly I like talking, <laughs> as narcissistic as that sound. 
Um, so if you like this, leave a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the stuff that I do. Um, there's still a few minutes left on this video, so make sure to watch to the end because mm, I like this piece. I think it turned out really well. Um, so anyway, have a lovely day wherever you are. Bye-bye. Thank you.